Man, Call of Duty dropped the mother load of information here today in a blog post regarding information with the Vanguard launch, the season one content, Warzone Pacific, and that brand new experience here coming. Today, to avoid information overload, we're of course going to be talking about all of that over the course of the coming days. But I wanted to talk in particular about this one, about the brand new events that we learned about within Warzone, and also the full reveal of Warzone Pacific in that brand new map, Caldera. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to here out of these brand new events, out of the brand new experience coming to Warzone and that integration? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts below. If you guys enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Let's get a little ambitious here with this goal today. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes on this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, Warzone, we have so much stuff here coming over the course of the next coming days leading into the launch of Vanguard. If you're new, hit that subscribe button nearly 60 percent of viewers are not so if you guys want to stay today with everything regarding all that and if you'd like to join the community as we're on that road to half a million subscribers i would love to have you but that said let's jump right into it and talk about this brand new wars and experience and what we can expect in the upcoming weeks okay so there is a ton to talk about in regards to all the information that we ended up getting today but again we're talking in this video just about the war zone stuff because there was a lot that was revealed here in terms of upcoming events the brand new map the integration things like that so Starting us off here with this blog post that we ended up getting, we of course saw that there is a new roadmap here for kind of the launch of Vanguard, but also the coming launch of Warzone's new integration. So just like how we normally see with DLC and seasonal updates here with this, we kind of got that again here, but on a larger scale. If you guys want to check that out, that's on screen here for you. But jumping into the more Warzone centric things, let's talk about the events because yes, there actually are multiple here coming up in the next few weeks. The first of which is Operation Flashback. That begins on November 18th here, so just after you start grinding out some of your weapons for Vanguard, maybe getting ready for that integration coming shortly to follow thereafter, whatever it is, you're going to be able to jump right into new things here within Verdansk. This is something that looks to celebrate that last year and a half in Verdansk as a sort of seeming LTM here at this. Stated officially, this is where we're going to be seeing classic moments and more brought back, but unofficially, we actually saw a little bit about this leak a couple of days ago. So spoiler, skip ahead about 30 seconds if you don't want to hear this. But we saw Data Mind a few days ago was described as Battle Royale with a twist, where events of the past become present. You get to revisit events here with every new circle, starting with a random event, preparing for flashbacks from that past. There seems to be enhanced rewards where contracts and supply boxes reward memories of yesterday with a chance of power-ups or key cards. We also see that there's going to be an expanded buy station with new items in stock, and loadout markers can be purchased after the loadout event. So this playlist will offer up some cool stuff here at this, but if you end up participating, you can actually end up getting two exclusive rewards here from this. Firstly, an emblem for just simply playing the event, and two, an animated calling card for anyone who actually wins in this mode. So there is going to be a reason to jump into it other than to just relive some of that nostalgia maybe here at this, but that is Operation Flashback. Now we see another event that doesn't quite have a name just yet starting on November 24th, but let's call this Intel Recovery. About a week later after that Operation Flashback, we end up seeing the sort of real end of Verdansk start to kick in that true countdown to the end. It's stated as we uncover more about the mysterious map Caldera, that being the name of the new map here coming as Warzone Pacific. And again, we also recently did see that some of this information came out as well in regards to what this will entail, where you have to find postcards from the Pacific here. So again, seemingly another maybe week-long event or something like that. This I don't think will be an LTM per se. I think this will just be a part of Verdansk here and you can go into any mode and find this kind of stuff that'd be my guess but the final thing here part three of the three part series is the countdown to the end of Verdansk right now they don't have any specific details given here for this they don't have an event name but they do say don't miss out on the end of Warzone as we know it the destruction begins on November 30th they also follow it up by saying we have yet to get declassified information on this Beanox developed event except for this expect a spectacular and fitting end to your time in Verdansk as we say farewell to the Castovian city forever. Though, with a question mark. So, they leave it open-ended that it could return here in the future, perhaps for Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 in 2022, but for right now, it seems like we're witnessing the end once again. But that said, that then turns the attention to Warzone Pacific, also known as, in terms of the map, Caldera. For Dansk was the Warzone map here, Caldera is the name of the new map here for Warzone Pacific, but we got a lot of information, actually, surprisingly, about the map, 
the Warzone changes coming fundamentally, different playlists and information regarding the integration, all that kind of stuff. So starting with the map on screen right now, you'll be seeing some of the promo images they put out here in this blog post of the brand new map. And to me, it looks really good, actually. Nothing that is seemingly too camp happy just yet. Obviously way too early to tell, but there is no downtown cityscape with a million different buildings or anything to hide here in this. There seems to be an even distribution of everything that we see here. There's mentioned to be over 200 points of interest, though, of course, those not being your larger ones, that being like basically everywhere where there's loot. And I think this is going to be a nice change of pace here from what we've seen with Verdansk. One thing that I do love here right off the rip, it seems like it is the same lighting as the current Rebirth Island lighting. That is something that I absolutely love. I think that is the prime lighting that we should have in Warzone. And with the contrast then of actually lush greens and everything like that, it's pretty nice. One thing that I absolutely hated about Verdansk 84 and then actually whenever Rebirth Island was introduced is that it had that super yellow and orange tint to your gameplay. That just wasn't appealing to me. So to see this now a more clear focal point on the map, looks really nice in my opinion. That said, breaking down things a little bit further about Warzone Pacific, it's stated that Warzone will actually be changed officially in name to Call of Duty Warzone Pacific or just Warzone Pacific. So you may actually see that change showcased on your Modern Warfare launcher here at this. It currently boots up as Call of Duty Warzone, not Modern Warfare. So that's what I'm assuming that's in reference to. But they also said that it's built on the same tech and engine as Call of Duty Vanguard. So this meaning that we should see some engine improvements and gameplay improvements as we've discussed beforehand from what was stated in press briefings and all that a few months back, but they're being ambiguous here with this and what that means for application use, that answer's still up in the air. Will Modern Warfare as a whole be upgrading its entire engine as well? Will we see a new application for Warzone? I'm not really expecting that one per se, but they don't give a definitive answer as to how that will work other than just that it will work. So very curious, but one of the big things actually showcased here outside of that already is that we'll see new features like dogfighting within Warzone. So you're going to see planes with machine guns here on them, and maybe that's something that plays into the scale of the brand new map here at this, but being detailed as a precision airstrike that you can kind of control that is interesting to see how that all works out and what that means for the longevity of the play space here at this. It might make launchers something really worth running, but we also see that we'll have new vehicles, though the legacy vehicles will also be available as well. So if you have some cool vehicle skins you really like, you can still drive around with all of those as well. They detailed initially also, though, some Vanguard dedicated playlists after the integration here at this, which is actually kind of interesting. They mentioned Vanguard Royale and Vanguard Plunder, which in both of these, whenever they're introduced, you'll only be able to use Vanguard weaponry. But that said, it's not limited to just these playlists. So it's not like something where they're siphoning off different experiences in different playlists. You can still use your Vanguard weaponry in your traditional battle royale and plunder experiences once the integration happens. But these two in particular are seemingly LTMs. Maybe they stick around. Maybe they're longer than just LTMs, but they're going to be the playlists where in those in particular, you cannot use your modern warfare or black Black Ops Cold War weapons, only your Vanguard weapons. So essentially it's a choice of, do you want to use everything or do you just want to use the new stuff? Which is kind of cool in a sense, I guess. They did also detail what this means a little bit for the integration and also that legacy content, the stuff that we've seen over the past almost two years at this point. For the integration, they've stated that all operators, all weapons and all that kind of stuff will be coming into Vanguard. But in terms of the overall pull, all operators, Vanguard, Black Ops, Cold War, Modern Warfare, they can be used across the entirety of Warzone. Those weapons, your Vanguard weapons, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops Cold War weapons can all be used here within Warzone Pacific, minus those Vanguard-only LTMs or game modes that we just mentioned here at this. Your progression system is something that we're going to expand upon a little bit further here at this in a video coming later today, later tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure when this will get up just yet, but again, to kind of keep things focused here and not information overload. We're going to talk about that at a little bit of a later point, but that's going to be synchronized here with Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Warzone Pacific. So we saw it progressible across all three main games here this year. Now we're going to add a fourth to that list. Your profile items like your calling cards and emblems and everything, again, will still have the ability to utilize what you've earned in Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, plus what you'll earn in Vanguard. And they mentioned the store will be stocked with Vanguard stuff, but also have Modern Warfare and Cold War Legacy bundles. Now, what about the other half here of Warzone. What happens to Rebirth Island? Well, the nice part, nothing. 
nothing happens to Rebirth Island. That is still going to be playable here after the integration, the changeover to Warzone Pacific. It's still going to be there for those that love the island, but now is going to be the second island, I guess we can talk about. So that is something that will not be going away. You can still grind that out if you'd like to. So don't worry if that's your mainstay here with this or that you don't find Warzone Pacific quite your jam. Now, the only other things that I do want to mention here out of this come down to an interesting little bit of promotion here for Warzone Pacific. That being the fact that if you own Vanguard, you'll actually have a 24-hour exclusive access period to Caldera, that Warzone Pacific map, the day before the integration happens here on the 2nd. Now, the final thing that I want to mention here in this video deals with Ricochet, the brand new anti-cheat here coming with Season 1 and the Vanguard integration to Warzone. It actually is starting its server-side implementation here in Vanguard in particular as of the launch of Vanguard. So we're going to be building up here to this, but that's something that with the launch of Warzone, you're not going to need any additional download here for this. But when the new Warzone Pacific experience drops, we're actually going to see more than just server-side introduced here. That is going to introduce the new kernel-level driver system that's planned to roll out for PC and be another added layer and level of security here for players to hopefully not have to deal with cheaters anymore. So that's something you can look forward to as well. But dude, I am looking forward here to this Warzone update and what we see here in the future. We got so much stuff to talk about over the course of the next coming days, not only just into this weekend, still detailing more of what was detailed in this blog post. Because like I said, this would just be information overload if we covered everything here in this one video. We just scratched the surface in this video is already 10 minutes long so we'd be here for a half hour 45 minutes detailing everything but keep an eye out here on the channel for more information to follow and of course then going into the launch of vanguard next week but that said that's where we're gonna wrap it up i would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below are you guys looking forward to the new warzone pacific experience of what we detailed here today is there anything in particular you quite like you're very excited for or anything that you're a little bit worried about let me know down below but if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on the video and of course if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Warzone, Vanguard. We have so much stuff here coming up. It's grind time, fellas. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to stay to do with all of it. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to chat with me outside of YouTube. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case may be, links in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.